Good morning. Hello. Uh, I'm in the Peak District this weekend. Um, <clears throat> and look, there's still a little bit of snow left. There's not a lot. You can see I'm in complete clag. Uh, there's my van over in the background. This is a standard place to park all the vans and stuff up near Stannard Edge. And as I was driving over, there were these tiny little weeny little pockets of snow. And this is a remnant of obviously because it's been kept in this drift. A uh, nice little bit of snow down there, stuck in the in the bottom. If you needed to go and have a jump in it, but yeah, I've, I'm I'm in the Peak District for a reason. Well, originally it was the LVA, the Landscape Vlogography Adventures Facebook group. It was one of the meetups. I started doing the meetups again, and uh, this was one of the first ones I put on there. Had a few people interested until last night when it all sort of went wrong. And uh, this morning, as you can see, I'm uh, pretty much on my own and uh, just making my way across the moors morning so two guys one of them had a car problem second one had a, a dog problem and uh, the third one looked at the weather forecast and said i ain't going out in that so i am on my own i'm on my own which i don't mind but yesterday i was thinking well i was coming over to stanage edge this is the plan um my plan was really to come over and sort of meet some people and do a bit of photography but yesterday i sort of i thought i need a focus i need something to to pin my focus on and i was coming over to the millstones which is the standard place i've been here several times um, but what i thought is i'm going to actually do i'm going to photograph millstones because i photographed the stanage edge and bamford edge and you know all the edges uh, so i thought i'd focus on uh, just millstones and see if I can find as many millstones. I went on Google and uh, I found lots of different images of, of millstones and a lot of them I haven't seen. So I'm pretty much I'm just looking. I'm going to go looking and walking and seeing if I can see any in the foothills of Stannard Edge. I'm just going to walk around the foothills because it's um, it's just it's, it's March so everything's deadish and flat so I should be able to see them. Um, but the fog, as much as it came, it, dif it disappeared a little while ago. It's, it's back in again. So I can't really see off much into the distance, but I'm going to enjoy this morning. And it's taken me two and a half minutes to explain what I'm doing. And I think that's a good start. <laughs> I'll see you when I get to the first lot of millstones. So my first one's just up in front. This is a, a stone that's just been laying here on its own. And this is what I'm talking about, about millstones. Uh, this, this is a, a big example of a perfectly shaped perfectly round with a hole in the middle uh, perfect perfect millstone um, there are another set up there um, these are the standard ones these are the ones that are listed on google maps uh, that you can see um, and come to the other ones are a little bit more elusive and they will take some searching and looking but yeah that's our first simple stone on its own i'm going to start with a photograph of it just looking back into the fog and all the outlines of the rocks behind it just showing its atmosphere where it is so uh, yeah we're going to do this handheld as well because i don't think i really need a tripod to do this um beauty of this capture clip is the cameras is there all the time for me but this is just really keeping it simple and just having it in the foreground getting rid of any of the main distractions around and just shooting with the shadow of the rock formation behind and uh, if I come in this position I can actually get down low and I can get the the rocks behind it and you can even see the stone standing up behind as well now I am bracketing but I don't actually need to what would look nice is if you put a wide angle lens on this but if you do it makes a stone a funny shape makes it elliptical rather than circular so uh, no need to really and there's a sheep staring at me over there <laughs> that's the first one um, I'm gonna take you up there now and show you them So this being your next and your main cluster of stones 
millstones at their best. They've got them laying down, so all these ones laying down, this makes a really nice image with the backdrop of the rocks and everything that they were made out of. And then you come around to the side and you've got them stood up, which just amazes because they're so heavy. They've got to weigh a good ton, if not more, but they're so perfectly formed. They're absolutely brilliant and uh, really do like stuff like this because it's proper, proper history, British history, Peak District history really is something else. These ones, these really do, <laughs> these really do amaze me. It just goes to show if I stand next to these, I'm five foot eight. So this is a good, a good four foot, maybe a little bit more. Yeah, definitely a bit more, more like sort of nearly five foot. Um, but they are amazing, absolutely amazing. And the, the grit stone, it's, it's something else. It, I'd love to, I'd love to know how much these weigh. And they've just been left. I think the history is um, things got out of hand. It's cheaper to do them in other countries, I think. And they were just like, leave them, move out. And they were just left. <laughs> Fascinating. Now the light behind it's really good. We've got this really deep, low, foggy cloud. Um, so I think I'm going to get a couple of shots facing this direction with that atmosphere behind it. Um, there's no light on them, but it doesn't really matter. But we'll definitely get a couple of shots here and then uh, I'm going to go walking and see if I can find any more because I'd love to find some more. get a nice selfie for me from now <clears throat> so you can see all these millstones because this is the perfect classic i absolutely love that little tiny tiny weeny splatter of snow that's left on the side of the hill and we've got mother cap i think it is over in the distance um higgeter's there i think that's mother cap and there's another tour um I'm not brilliant with remembering names. Now this is a really, really nice shot. And of course I've done my selfie already. <clears throat> You've got this lovely cluster of uh, millstones. They're in the bottom sort of right hand section of the image. Uh, there's a little pathway that leads across. I might try and clone the pathway out because it's a little bit distracting. But then you have got the shape of the hills in the background and the light's just gone off a little bit because we did have a little bit of dappled light over in the background. But I just love the silhouette of the hills. Um, but what I want to try and do is I'm going to move back a little bit. Um, just move back a little bit and then zoom in and take the same image because the natural compression of the lens should um, should make it look like it's a bit closer to the hills in the background if that makes any sense to you whatsoever um, it's hard because I don't want to actually come up too high but I know what I mean that's just getting the camera now in a low enough position that I can actually get this shot because as I've come up the hill, obviously I've raised my composition. I don't actually want the composition any higher. I want to try and keep it roughly the same, but just getting a little bit more compression leading in and maybe just bringing those hills in the background slightly closer if there's such a way or such a possibility. And again, it's almost eliminating the road a little bit as well. So F11, as per the first one, focus on the sandstones on the millstones, two second timer, and just take the shot. Um, it would be nice if the light just appeared in the background, just to pop it up a little bit more. I've not got any sky in it because the sky is pure gray. I've just literally rolled the sky right out of the image. And I'll just take another one because I had it on a 10 second. And then I'm just gonna wait now and uh, just see if I get a little bit of light 
just in the background because I'm in no rush. No rush whatsoever. There is a little bit of light going on there. So we're just bringing up a little bit higher. Two second timer. And I'm just going to take a few of these. for a little while come right around the, the front side of Stanage Edge now as you can see the cliffs are all behind me and there's rock climbers and all sorts out today there's loads of people out now I know looking at my Google images that there are other stones around here now I've done a complete sweep search on Google Maps and uh, what free words maps because that's a bit clearer and I've, I've scanned the whole of this the whole of this area trying to find what I think are remnants of stones from the air and uh, I can't actually see anything as such. Uh, I did find one and I've got a what three words point for it. So I'm gonna put that in my phone in a minute and head towards that. But I'm looking at the rocks because the actual rocks themselves, the cliff face, I know that if I can see a certain cliff face, a certain shape, then the rocks are behind that if that makes any sense the stone you know the millstones are behind that um, because i've seen them in the back of the images and i will put them on the screen hopefully i won't get a copyright strike um, just to show you what it is i've been looking for and what i'm actually looking for um, i'd love to find a few more and show you and i really would love to find a few more and take some photographs of them but like i say this is flat at the moment there's no growth um, but it's it's a prime needle in a haystack, I think. I just wish I knew where they were. <laughs> I can't find a map or anything. If there is a map for all the stones around here or you know where they are, please, please, please contact me. All right, so I've stopped for a bit of a snack. I haven't had any breakfast and it's 11 o'clock. And you know what? All the amount of food I've got and the amount of food I carry with me normally, I haven't brought any with me. I can't even get in this. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going to have my little uh, cherry baked water tart thing um, and see if I can get a couple of photographs along here. I'm, I'm struggling with the millstones. I've just been talking to a local and uh, they said there's more right down the far end of Stanage Edge and this is a massive, massive walk. So I may even go up to the top, walk back down to the van, drive the van down the far end and start down that end tomorrow and maybe continue the video tomorrow. But because of the conditions, and the moody clouds and the sun, I'm, uh, I'm gonna get some photographs of the rocks and the trees, so I'm not far from the woods. So yeah, let's see what happens. Watch this space. Cool, that's nice. Mm.
So I've never been down this end of Stanage Edge. Uh, it's definitely a place I'm going to be coming back down to another time because the rocks and the formations are a lot different than at the other end. There are some huge, huge, massive, massive boulders uh, like the one behind me. And uh, I've just had a bit of a walk around, but there's some really big boulders here and guys climbing up the side of them I'm trying to. But this one's caught my eye. Look at that for a pretty rock, a heart-shaped rock. You can't ask for more than that, can you? Mother Nature and all that. <laughs> but yeah, this is an interesting part of the edge. Very different to what I'm used to down that end. I've never walked down here and it goes on for miles and miles and miles. So I'm sure the rocks or the, the sandstones are down this end, which is what I've just been advised by that couple that I was talking to. I'm not sure how far I'm going to walk down. Uh, I'm going to make my way down far enough to get up on the top and I'm going to walk back along the top. Um, and I think tomorrow, I do think there's a car park down here. I think tomorrow I'm going to come down to this car park and have a walk up here in the morning and see what this looks like first thing in the morning. The sun's going to be behind me, that shitty thing, but it could be interesting if there's a bit of fog. So I'm heading uphill now and there's a proper footpath in there so this is like the main route to get up from the car park so it looks dead easy. I can't see looking down into the field I can't see any of the sandstone so I've got a feeling they're probably right down the other edge so I'm gonna have a look on the map so I can find a road or a pathway to get me down that end. I'm determined to find these other stones because I've seen the images and they look amazing but there's none up here that I can see of. But we're going to make our way to the top and then this video is definitely coming to an abrupt, abrupt, abrupt end, I think. <sighs> I do wish I had some company today though. You know, for the motivation, definitely having someone to talk to and to chat to keeps you moving forward a bit quicker and easier. But in saying that, got my music on, I'm chilled out and just enjoying nature and what it's got to offer me. And again, somewhere new is always a little bit of a surprise. Well, it's about an hour probably since I last spoke to you. Uh, I sat down on a rock, just sat there in the sunlight got some vitamin D inside me and uh, had a drop of water finished my coffee off thanks to a uh, Mimes Reusable little coffee cup um, I made it this morning about seven eight o'clock and it's now one o'clock and it's still warm so fantastic I am up on the top I've just been scouting through my uh, what three words map and down there you can see those set of trees that's where I'm gonna park tonight somewhere down that road and I'm going up and around that side because I have found loads of millstones on the map. So I'm going to be buzzing tomorrow. So part two of this is success, I think, apart from the weather conditions because I don't know what the morning is going to bring. So as much as this video has been a bit of a fail, I didn't actually get my millstones. I didn't find any other than the ones this morning that I knew where they were. Um, I have got a couple of half decent images, I think, and I've just found a couple of little locations that are going to make some fantastic photographs in different you know different days different conditions so i am going to end the video now i don't know how long it's been i've enjoyed my walk i've got about just short of two miles to walk back to the van um and then i am i'm going to move the van have some lunch because i'm starving i brought scotch eggs and left them in the bleeding van didn't i so i'm gonna have some lunch when i get back a cup of coffee move my van down there, ready for tomorrow morning, and I'm gonna go and exploring on new territory. So please watch next week's. And uh, yeah, ciao for now, see you soon. Drop us a comment, let me know what you think of this video. Is it okay? 
Did you see anything? Did you learn anything? Have you found anything new? Or did you just enjoy the millstones? Tada. See you soon. Just on a quick note, I'm going to put a couple of images up on the end here. There's a paraglider flying along Stanage Edge. And uh, I used to do paragliding. And I kind of today, after all the years, I really wish I was doing it again. I sold all my gear. I only flew a few times. But watching him fly along this edge was absolutely amazing. And that feeling of being weightless and having that wing above your head is just something amazing. And if I could fly along this edge, I would really give anything to do that today. What an amazing feeling that would be. An amazing, an amazing feeling. He's got two miles of airline to fly along and that was just something else seeing him come past goodbye